Well, good morning everybody. My name's Dr. J.D. Swanson and welcome to 15 Minutes of Thought or Fun. So today what I want to talk about is I want to go through a very simple sort of relaxing drill that Okazaki Sensei did quite frequently um, during the instructor trainee classes. And so the idea here is smoothness. Again, it's not going for gold, but it's about relaxing and just think about it. And what we'll do is we'll use this as a segue for another couple of classes coming up on Jiu Ippon Kumite. Again, doing it solo, just like we all are at the moment. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey, us. Good, so this is basically an Oizuki, or sorry, Gyakuzuki Kazamazuki drill. So from here, let's just warm up a little bit, just making from here, Hidani's in good touch again on break, mate. Good, from here, just punching Gyakuzuki, one, Kazamazuki, two, Gyakuzuki, Kazamazuki, Gyakuzuki, Kazamazuki. Good, and just making sure, checking your body for all those good things. Hips dry together, hips dry together. If you feel yourself wanting to be more noodly arm and just working on that sort of whipping feeling, allow hips, hip, body, hip, hip, body, hip, hip, body, hip, hip, body, or solid, solid, whichever way floats your boat. What I'd like you to do is practice that, just to warm up. Then, of course, practice one, two, then, then switch it. One, two, just feeling just the action of the hip, action of the body, just to warm up for a few minutes. Off you go, rip into it. Excellent, okay, once you've done that, what I want you to do is I want you to assume a high kamae. So just from here, multiple kamae's that you can assume, zenkus pulled in half a foot, squeezing here. For now, just high. The purpose of this drill is to relax your feet, to relax your legs, relax the stretch of the hip. From here, just thinking about stepping forward, feel body, hip, thing, stretch, make zenkuts, rotate to kazamazuki, then stand up. Gyakuzuki, kazamazuki, stand up. Check all the proper important things, right? Is your hip flopping out? Is your knee coming across? No, none of that. Make sure that as you step, you're not stepping on an angle, right? That's pointless. Aim directly towards your opponent here. Simply step, drop, then up. This feeling. So from here, one, two, then up. One, two, and up. Good, just practicing through that. Try 20, 30 reps very quickly in your own time. Excellent. So from here now, let's do the opposite. So from here, simply drop your body weight. Don't step back. Simply drop. Kazamazuki, Gyakuzuki. Then come up. One, two. Come up. One, two. Come up. Be careful that you're not stepping so far back that you can't get your hips all the way around. You still want to engage that back leg in that Gyakuzuki. So it's here. One, two. Notice, back, push, 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 push. So here, up, up. So, go backwards now, Kazamazuki, Gyakuzuki. Practice that 20, 30, 40 times to get your body going. Try both those, left side and right side. Again, all the good things. So just try that, give it a go. Excellent, now that you're done with that, just go through and just cherry pick yourself. Feel the drive off the rear leg, this push underneath, this punch up. Double check, check that you're not leaning. Try and keep underneath and push. Try going backwards for a few separately. Try here, make sure, don't lean. Just drop, just drop. Just drop, push, come up, push, push, okay? Go through a few more, just checking on technique, refinement, make sure as you step that you're not swinging your arms, funky 80s dance, right? None of this. Make sure elbows squeeze, squeeze through the front down to make that hit, push. Make sure none of this. I know it might feel stronger, but when you've got sore elbows after 10 years of doing it, 
don't don't sort of come and complain. Feel here, straight in. Here, straight in. Come up, feel here. Stick, stick, and coming up. Make sure, push, good feeling. Give that a go, just refine it. And then we'll move to the last stage. Make sure you practice both left side and right side. Give it a go. Excellent, now that you're done with that, let's flow it together. So remember the goal here is not to strike as hard as you can, but rather be fluid and smooth. So what I would like is from here, just imagine Yakuzuki, Kazamazuki up, Kazamazuki, Yakuzuki up. One, two, one, two. Notice the change in height, right? Dropping down, bang, bang, come up, bang, bang, come up. Just fluid. Pom, 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 pom. Fluid. Pom, 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 pom. Fluid. Just like so. Then, once you're ready, then of course, take your time. Just relaxing through. One, two. One, two. Good. With that, try that. Try the fluidness of the technique. Off you go. One more step. Now what you can try is from here, try, flow, flow, come up, flow, flow, come up. So again, smooth, but allow the technique to move where the feet need to go. Depend, pretend that you have an opponent and they're changing distances. It might be here, they're right on top of you. You stick them, stick. Or they may be far away. Allow the feet to slide. But make sure that you keep within the principle of the technique. So for example, my opponent might be far away and I'm chasing them down. Feel, pom, then come up. Now they might be super close. Or they might be way on top of you. Back, then forward. Okay? Whichever way floats your boat. So play with the footwork a little bit as you move, as you go. So give that a go. Good, once you've done that, once you've gone through that, now you can play with this. Try both sides, try different rhythms, try different cadences. Try different cadences of technique and so forth. So you can play with this any which way you want using that same, goodness, using that same pattern of movements. And with that, that's all I have for today. We'll talk again soon. Hey, thank you.